Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to LEGO DC Super Villains. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and you're ready for more uh, LEGO DC Super Villains. So today is going to be about going ape over Gorilla City as well as doing some, uh, I guess you would say free play stuff. I don't know. going to do some stuff in the town. We were trying to do the, uh, the, the what's-his-face quest. Um, it'll come to me. Mongol. That's it. It was Mongol. Mm. But there's also um, several uh, gold bricks that we need to collect in order to unlock um, key characters that we have neglected to unlock, like Red Hood and stuff like that. People that oh, do Red Hood, do Red Hood. You have to do the gold bricks in order to uh, challenge certain characters. So, but anyway, your first like goal is 100 likes. Let's get those likes up. We're currently starting the stream at 50 likes. Not bad, but we can do better than that. So let's try to get uh, 50 more likes in the next uh, 30 minutes, if we can. That'll help bring people in and all that fun stuff. So, uh, load game. And again, we're starting over from scratch. This is not a continuation of uh, the original playthrough from 2018. This is a brand new playthrough. Um, so everything is different. And I don't remember like how we even unlocked everything because it was so long ago. So it's, it's literally fresh, because I can't be expected to remember something from all those years ago. <laughs> Especially when I, I worked tirelessly with Amber to unlock all these characters. It was like, oh. So now it's like, <laughs> going through it again, it's kind of like, uh, where is everybody? I, which is more than I can say for where I started Animal Crossing today, and I thought I'd be starting a new town. But Yep, and thank you guys for the, uh, the new members. Amber was telling me about the Animal Crossing shenanigans. <laughs> So apparently, Animal Crossing uh, is is it can really only have like one town per switch. One town per switch is what they did. So Amber made an account on my switch, which means she resurrected uh, Lamesville. Why did Mercy have to park the jet all the way up there? This is such an inconvenience. Take it easy, Lex. Let's just find a way to reach it, and we'll be in Gorilla City in no time at all. You know, by most people. You can't expose your belly and not get the pets. It doesn't work that way. Wait, where is my phone? I want to take a picture of this phone. Mm, I don't know where your phone is. You want me to call it? Or... No. But I wanted it. It looks so cute. He's got like this weird reaction on his face. That's like the weird react reactive thingy. He looks adorable. Linky. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's so cute! Okay. You have to be careful, though. Even though he's, he's displaying his belly, he doesn't want to be touched. Which is weird, because usually when a cat, like, puts their belly in front of people's view, they're kind of like, I trust you enough to touch my belly. But with Link, it's a trap. Link, it's like, oh, I've exposed my belly. If you touch me, I'm going to cut you. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, that's not how that's supposed to go, Linky. Like, what are you doing? He's licking Zelda. Violently. It's a violent lick attack. Lick, 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 lick. There, I took some pictures of him. I don't know which one came out. I mean, I'm sure most of them came out. Uh, or not. The last one came out. Okay, well, Link, go back in your weird pose. There. You want pets now? Yeah. Want pets now? That's <laughs> adorable. He looks upside down, though. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, basically, like, I was walking around your town, I was excited about making a happy little town called Happyville. Oh, no. And I, they were like, sorry, it looks like there's already a town on this switch. You can't do that, Amber. And I was like, what? They're like, no worries, we can get you a town tent in Lamesville. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Lamesville. And I was like, uh, what? And then, like, I was in the middle of the stream, so I was like, well, the, I was like, this wasn't how I, I, I was like, I wasn't expecting that, I was like, well, we can do this, that's okay, we can make this work. And so I'm wandering around, and there's, like, barbed wire, <laughs> there's a person with an axe, there's, a, oh, like, a, that's great. like, a sign that says stay out, there's a whole bunch of complex of, like, all your villa, villagers were put behind, like, walls with, like, concrete <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Uh, and like, I, I, memories. there were some people in the chat that were like, 
wow, this town looks beautiful. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was in there like, are we seeing the same town? Because like, it's a lovely town, Amber. You just have to give it a choice, a chance. It's a, I, I forgot I did all that. that. I made that all during the pandemic, so that was four years ago I made all that. I kept saying, my husband has an interesting sense of humor. <laughs> I was like, there's all these like keep out signs and stuff. Yep, my mayor, unfortunately, he passed away from natural causes. He won't be coming back. He got locked in his house and he forgot to put a doorknob. That's the end. Plot twist, the villagers assassinated him. And they were like, we're finally free. We're finally free. He never left his house. Uh... This game has the best speedster effects in a Lego game. If you disagree, change my mind, says Matthew. It does have great speedster effects. <clears throat> well, what do you mean you can't drive? I mean, I can't drive. I can't deal with this. I don't remember how to do all the gold brick stuff. No entry. Oh, is that the gold brick stuff? What is this? Oops. Perhaps that is some silver thingy that I need to blow up. Or not. Luke's town went full purge mode, says Missy Dolphin. Mm. This is no challenge for someone of my immense Yeah, genius. the purge. Let's put a few smiles on some faces, shall we? The purge happened. Well, in the older Animal Crossing games, like Animal Crossing New Leaf, Luke used to actually dig holes around his villagers so they'd be stuck there for days mm. and couldn't move. <laughs> You can't prove that. I'm gonna be nice to all your villagers. They're gonna know me better than they know you. A lot of them are still there from like a year ago. Honey, it's been years. Oh, it's not really? a year ago. Wow, they're all right yeah, there. Some of the villagers you had in there. The owner. Still there. Mm -hmm. Just wants me to uh, move some stuff. Um, I don't know if there will be two streams of this tomorrow. I'm not sure, Sharon. I don't know. I don't know. All depends how well the streams do, Sharon. We our policy is a thousand views. If streams do well, yeah, we'll do more than one stream, obviously. But I mean, that's that's all dependent on like, you know, how well that does. Um, I love the rain effects for the screen in this game. It's a Silver Sonic. Yeah, definitely Silver Sonic. What exactly my building? Oh! That's what I was building. Alright. Some say it is the reverse. This is your only warning. Hmm. Nope. I can't see what I'm looking for in this locker. Maybe the next one over. We need to find a way into that other locker. Any ideas? <laughs> Ah, Gotham City. Such an interesting place. No? Alright, so now we need Joker. So Joker, you need to do your thing. Ah, oh, yes. And then go the teeth. Hey, gold brick! Now, how does one retrieve the, uh, gold brick? Hmm. Brandon says, I'm gonna miss the Apollo Justice Trilogy. I mean, we did the Apollo Justice Trilogy for, like, so many months. Yeah. I I'm would love so... to look at the investigation games, but I don't think they've ever come out outside of the Japan. I thought there was a DLC part of the thing we haven't done yet. Well, yeah, we're, we're gonna be wrapping it up, though. Mm. Like, there's only one case left, which means it'll last for, like, four or five more streams, and then it's over. Aww. In reality, our streams would have actually... The case would have lasted longer if we would have... If this collection would have come out during the pandemic. <laughs> yeah. You know, we were averaging, like, almost 2,000 views after, like, one hour. So we would have done just one-hour episodes of Ace Attorney, like our uploads. Yeah. So there would have been even more Ace Attorney. But with YouTube forcing us to stream for two and a half hours to try to get 1,000 views, I mean... Yeah. The streams are longer. Everything's all messed up. Like... They've completely sabotaged their live streaming thing. It's insane. 
it's devastating because like, I mean I don't want to stream for two and a half hours at a time. I, I liked our old method of we did like four streams a day, an hour and a half, and it was an easy thousand views. And then this year they just completely changed it. Now it's like for the past like two months, I don't know if people have noticed or not, but very few streams get a thousand views after even two hours. Oh, Zelda, don't walk on Amber with your claws. Okay, she doesn't listen. <sighs> Alright, so first gold brick was discovered. Uh, now we go after the next one. Now, the more gold bricks that we get, then we're able to unlock certain characters. She retracted them the second time. She, she retracted her claws. So, I mean, I don't even know what's going to happen with live streaming like next year because what I've noticed every year, like, they've continued to nuke their live streaming thing. I think it's because they're trying to get rid of drama channels who live stream for a living. So they found a way of, like, sabotaging live streaming for everybody. Um, just so they can try to get these plat people off the platform that are making, like, so much money um, from live streaming. But the thing is, what YouTube doesn't <laughs> understand is... Like, these drama channels are getting tons of super chats, so even if you kill their views, they're still making hundreds, you're, if not thousands of dollars from super yeah, chats. You're not really gonna get rid of the drama channels, you're gonna no. get rid of everyone else. So by basically sabotaging live streaming for everybody else, and I've seen a lot of other channels suffering from this too, like people who usually had like 60 people watching for two hours was a thousand views. People with a hundred people or more, we had 135 people watching Ace Attorney today, 600 views. I honestly <clears throat> don't know, like, why YouTube would care about the drama channels. Like, it really doesn't even matter, like... Oh, it's just a theory. I don't have any proof. <clears throat> no, I, I know that they probably do care about it. But, like, I... No, I think that they do want to get them off. Because, obviously, when you... Because, like, you know, being Ace Attorney or Apollo, there's definitely something about certain trigger words that they're trying to get rid of and I think that has something to do with the drama channels like <clears throat> people can't talk about certain current events or controversial issues uh, you know or your your channel your video gets flagged so obviously those are the things that drama channels are talking about so obviously there's something to what you're saying but why like say the people at YouTube disagree with the drama channels or whatever. They don't like their uh, ideas or what they're saying or whatever. Why does it why does it matter if you have someone on your platform that you disagree with that's making you money? Like it doesn't it shouldn't really matter like, to them but I guess it does. I think it's all about agenda. It's like their politics versus other people's politics personally. I think that's what it all comes down to. Kind of like how um, Garan, which we learned in today's Ace Attorney episode, you know, she was mad with power. It really feels like the people who are doing stuff, like, their way or the highway, basically. Like, they don't... As, yeah, long, as, as long as they get their way and they get to do what they want, everyone else's opinion, everyone, it doesn't matter. But isn't YouTube supposed to be YouTube-like? Mm -hmm. Literally, whatever your opinion is, whatever your video is about, it's supposed to be your take on it. So now it's like, oh, okay, you can make a YouTube video and, and put your take on this. Like, you can say your opinion, but it has to match the opinion of the people in charge. It's like, well, how do we even know what your opinion is? Like, it doesn't, like, you see a Disney movie and you don't really like, you know, the, the weird direction Disney is taking with Marvel or something. And you, you make an opinion about it, you make a review, and then Disney, and then they take down your video. I mean, how are you supposed to know that YouTube would have a problem with, you know... Ooh, Black Lightning can fly. It's just, it's just a, such a strange thing, yeah. I think. But I mean, I like I said, I have looked into stuff. It, it does seem strange to me that just even a few months ago... 100 people watching for two hours was a thousand views. Now 100 people watching for two hours is like 600. It's exactly 600 less. So what's going to happen six months from now? Like, our live stream is going to go to the point where we stream with like over 100 people watching for two and a half hours. Are they still going to count? What's the matter, Lou? There's a spider. There's a spider. I need the vacuum. Uh, be right back, guys. Uh, I gotta go. I, I will get a flashlight. Link, move! Kind of paralyzed here with fear.
Uh, guys, watch the short. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that, guys and gals. There was a spider on the equipment, um, which I would have gotten bit, and Amber took care of vacuum stuff, but we don't know if he escaped or not, but I have my flashlight on my cell phone, and I'm looking for him, but hopefully he's gone. Uh, I have a bit of a problem with spiders. Also, I didn't feel like getting bit when I was writing time code, so he had to go. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, where were we? We were gold brick hunting. Yeah, there was a spider. Ha 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 ha. Not, well, not, not fun for me, but maybe funny for you guys. Uh, oh good, the short is picking up again. That's good. Okay, uh, where were we? We were gold brick hunting. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, I think, I believe your, I believe the eyes was, um, um, sharing it in the chat to all people. Thank you. Thank you, the eyes. Okay. So we're playing as Black Lightning, and we're looking for another gold brick, which is right around here. Uh, it's supposed to be around here. So, it's probably located inside the building. Well, I mean, the thing is, when it gets really hot out, that's when there's spiders. So in our house, it's very hot, so that means the spiders are waking up. Usually, like I said, I keep the temperature around 67, 68 all year round, which kind of, like, prevents um, certain things from happening, so to speak. Because spiders don't like cold temperatures. Yeah. But it's very hot in our house because of uh, sudden rays in temperature outside. So that kind of threw everything for a loop. So we're playing as um, Black Lightning, and we're looking for our next gold brick. Which gold brick's necessary to do something? Challenge bad guys or something? I don't know. I believe in Harvey Dent. Uh, let's see. Does Harley also do the same thing? As a... Where's Harley? Harley, 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 Harley. Do you also... She does! Okay. I've seen some really big guys around. Lego movie Harley Quinn was a Suicide Squad Harley Quinn? I didn't realize that. Okay. I wanted to be a member of the Yeah, they changed her after the Suicide Squad. And power. And a moral compass. That's weird. Where's my um I thought I had more than one reverse flash. Where's the TV version of reverse flash? Oh well. He's not here. Oh, sadness. Maybe he was like a special download only character and we never got him. I don't know. I guess it's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe we have to re download the DLC or something. No, I downloaded everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you give me okay. Oh. Yes. Keanu Reeves is gonna voice Shadow in the third Sonic movie? No! Um, oh, wait, wow. Why? I don't think I he's... I thought they already had a voice for Shadow. I don't think he's a good good pick for Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, I mean, they're trying to br have somebody that's gonna bring in... The I know, they're trying to bring in somebody who's famous, because uh, that's what they do with voice actors in movies. I'm aware. Yeah, they don't really go by what the voice is going to sound like. No. It's a completely different way of doing things. Mm. I'm not a fan of that. Mm. I like Keanu Reeves, don't get me wrong, but I think that we should probably hire a talented voice actor to play a voiceover. Oh well. Woo! Ah! The gold brick is probably here. Oh my gosh, what? I thought I felt something crawling on my <sighs> my neck. Excuse me. Okay, is there something crawling on your neck? I don't know. I mean, I can't see. Can I... What do you want me to do, Luke? No, I'm, I'm fine. I don't feel anything anymore. Okay. Check. I don't see anything here. Yeah, I don't think he's going to Unless he spider webbed back up there. I would have seen him moving, though, because my eyes were like, right on him when you were trying to suck him up with the vacuum cleaner. Uh, a character that has a flashlight. I don't know what character has a flashlight. Do they tell us? 
They don't tell us what character we need to switch to? Oh, Scarecrow. Yeah, there we go. Ah, there we are. Just the kind of contraption I can Scarecrow. Poison Ivy. I'm guessing. Creepy old spider. Better joke about me not having a brain to work this out. Completely threw things for a loop for me. I go. Where, where are you? You have to go down. I like the picture of Grod on the uh, thumbnail. Yeah, we're gonna be doing the Grod thing today. We're just uh, messing around in Gotham a little bit, and then do the Grod thing. And you were able to get these pictures from screenshots from the game? Um, those screenshots are from our original playthrough. Yes. I got them off YouTube. Mm -hmm. I like how you have the part very small and the le and the number really big. Wait, did we not do we not have Ivy yet unlocked? Oh, we do. We do have Ivy unlocked. So we're gonna go over here and we mess with this. My powers are always growing. Wait. Oh. Well, that's one way of doing that. I suppose. And now you want us to be Joker. Alright. Little square box. Yoink. Oh. And uh, thank you guys for helping the short while uh, we were dealing with something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next cold brick was found. The clown who has everything. Now if I could just find my socks. I don't know. Someone was asking me about who should voice somebody. I don't know. But I didn't. I didn't see the rest of the comment. I don't know who should voice Shadow the Hedgehog. It'd be a nice fan service to have the current voice actor of Shadow the he Hedgehog voice Shadow. Because you already have like a, a bunch of stars playing. Um, Right. Sonic and I don't uh, I don't know. Sharon says who would be a good pick to voice Amy Rose. I don't really don't know, know voice actors very well. I don't think Amy's even gonna be in it though, is she? Mm, also I I mean for me if I was a hmm? if I was a person auditioning voice actors, I would just bring in a bunch of unknown people and audition them and see who does the best role. I'm not a huge like, I'm not huge into, like, oh, I'm going to pick this person because they're famous or something. I would just uh, audition a bunch of unknown people. So, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know voice actors at all. Sorry about that. I wish I did. Don't worry about it. The of the the I mean, probably if they can get the person who voices Amy in the games, that's who I would pick. I would have picked Jaleel White to voice uh, Sonic to begin with, mm. but that didn't happen, so Roger Craig Smith is alright as a pick. And whoever they had originally to voice um, either the guy who came out of the portal in one of the Sonic movies, I forgot if it was Knuckles or Shadow, but he sounded pretty cool. Those Knuckles. Yeah. Wait, how many? How much money do we have? Yep. Hi, everyone. Hi, Isaiah. Hi, um, um, hi, Silver Sonic. Hi, OH. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Papa's Cruise. Hi, uh, Tim. Hello, the eyes. Says the Tibbetsy spider went down water spout. Out came, That's down came the cave no, wife no, no, to no. take the spider out. Amber used the vacuum cleaner to take the spider out. Down Beautiful. came the vacuum to take the spider out. Hello, Sora Cloud. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, LeRae. Princess Emmy and Timmy the Megan fan. Hi, Aklan. Hi, Garth. Hi, um, everyone. JD and everybody. Silver Sonic. Do we Hi, Game not Wing. have any villain flyers yet? Hi, Jacob Orion. Hi, Game Wing 1 and Jessica. Blueheart. Hi, everyone. Hi, Isaiah. Hope you guys are all doing well. You're a dead man, but dead man's a hero. Isn't it? I don't know. All right. Uh, there is a won't serve us, huh? Says I look like a clown, huh? Who does he think he is? 
feel like helping me get even with this stupid diner? I'm guessing they won't serve us because the brick is located underground trouble. again. I've noticed that a lot of these bricks are located underground. I just saw one of those fancy food critics. I mean, it makes sense. Gotham is a dark, depressing place, but um, everything is located on underground. Hi, it's Blues Cat. Hi, Joe Taro. Hey, Joe Taro. Hi, Blues Cat. Uh, wait, aren't I already on ground level though? I'm confused. Because there's nothing... I don't think there's anything above me. Now, guys, are there um, gold bricks that are randomly just floating in the air? I don't think so. Whoops. Darn it. What's oops? Just, I was just trying to share the video and I ended up deleting it. I don't know you deleted the video? <laughs> no, I am watching the video. I deleted my post. I'm so glad you don't have access to admin stuff because the video would be gone. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh. You're at sea level, no? Well, well do you guys remember how this gold brick works? I told people today, like, people kept telling me, you should delete Luke's town and then start over, and I was like, I worked really hard I on that said, town. I said That's I'd mean. be sleeping on the couch if Since I did I that. Like no, I probably wouldn't <laughs> care, but I would. I might never let you hear the end of it. That would be really mean. I was like, do you know how mean that would be? Why? I said it's not my town to delete. I didn't erase Amber's town. Nintendo did because Amber's switch broke. Technically, my town is still alive in like the Twilight Realm or something. Shadow Realm. If I would get my switch working again, it's possible I could, my town would be alive. Mm -hmm. So, uh, does anybody want to explain to us what is the invest- You said there's Ace Attorney investigative games? Like, what is that? I've never heard of that. Mm. Seems like our house door is doing pretty well. I mean, what, it, is it continuing getting views? Because I saw it got a thousand views and it stopped. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. Yeah, it got a thousand views, it stopped. It's almost at 2,000. But, no. no, no, no. Years ago, that house tour would have done us, really huh? well. Says I look like a clown, huh? Who does he think he is? Do I need to be well, an actual clown? I typed in house tour. They I was trying to find it. They say clowns only cause trouble. That's blatant clown discrimination. This clown -mination. I just saw one of those fancy food critics heading inside. I say now's a good time to cause a little trouble. You want me to go inside I to be a member of the Teen Titans when and I go young. after a food critic? Welcome, welcome. Please take a seat wherever you like and prepare for the gastronomical delight of Gotham's finest diner. Hmm. Yes. We'll see, won't we? Some more bricks. Can okay. you give me directions to Amusement Mile? Oh, it's been so long. I don't remember this game yet. Which one's the food critic? It is very grim and morbid here, no? You like watch one video, mm. but it's stuck in your feed. You watch one and then you get recommended like 50 more videos like that. When it's like, I don't want to be mean to the creators and say, please don't show me this anymore. But it's super annoying because it's like I'm bombarded with videos that are like that and I don't even like watching them. Like, I don't know why on Facebook, like... That chef's about to be in hot water. <laughs> oh no. What happened to the fans? It's getting awfully hot in here. Do you even have a functioning air conditioner? Oh wow, it's hot in here. Do you even have a functioning air conditioner? Okay, so now we need to mess with the oven. You're fine, babe. This island is good for fishing, is it not? Gorilla Grodd needs to mess with the food? I don't have Gorilla Grodd. Isn't that unsanitary? I mean, he has birds. Didn't his hair get in it? No good food anyway. I don't I don't have anybody with mind manipulation powers? That's not good. I thought in one of the Lego games 
you were able to like they highlighted people that could be used for the job. Yeah. But I guess not this one. They do. The live wire can be used here. A rude customer. It's a food critic. It's called for another one of my mini tasks. What? Oh no! All my food is ruined. What happened? Hmm. Faulty equipment? I'll have to make a note of this. <laughs> That's why you ought to stay fresh, chef. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I can't mess with his... If I need to mess with his cooking, uh, I can't because I don't have Gerard. I solve my current dilemma with this. Which is weird. So we don't have any other character that can use mind manipulation powers? Mm. Mm. Use Zatanna? Okay. That's going to taste just yummy, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wouldn't eat that. Ugh, these flavors are disgusting. What have you done to this food? Preposterous. That is my signature dish. It is delicious. What could be so disgusting about it? My review, a laughable one star. <laughs> ah! uh, good work, buddy. Here's your tip for helping me out. Catch you around. Oh, he had a gold brick. Mm, nice job, Luke. I was a food critic. Yep. You could be a good food critic, to be completely honest. Um, you know what you like, at least. Yeah. Okay, so Donna can fly. Alright, that was fun. Okay, let's do another gold brick. Ooh, there's another uh, character. Who is. Oh, Condiment King! Yeah, let's do Condiment King. Condiment King! 38 minutes. Condiment King! Character that was created for Batman the Animated Series. Let's go! Now, where exactly is the Condiment King hanging out? Uh. They will not. Uh, highlight all usable characters. Okay, thank you, Rage Core. Mm, well, we got a le red lantern in the chat named Rage Core. Hmm. So, where is the Condiment King then? If this is ground level. I feel like if I was the lantern, I'd be somewhere between Compassion Lantern and Rage. Mm. And go between Rage and Compassion. Is he inside the room? Probably not the best. Perhaps? Condiment King, where are you? Ruin this poor guy's mm. restaurant. Whoops. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I don't really know why. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Batman, <laughs> One Punch Man. Where is the Condiment King at? <sighs> Condiment King says he's located. Is this not ground level? There's the church. Where are you hiding, Condiment King? You would think he'd be right outside here by the restaurant, but he's not here. Oh, hit me with your best shot was playing, I say. Wow, I didn't hear that. Transportation DC hub first. What does that mean? Shouldn't the Condiment King be right here? Like, right outside the restaurant? Oh, well. I guess we'll go do something else. For whatever reason, he's not popping up. So let's go after another gold brick. Okay. I want to do Economy King. Kind of bummed. Mm 
Next gold brick. We'll do Kahneman King later. I always thought he hung out right outside the restaurant, but I guess he's just not working. Next brick. Copyright strike. What? What are you What are you talking about, Sharon? Oh, there was just a popular. People thought they heard a popular song <laughs> playing. In the game. What well, popular? We don't have any copyright. Hit me on with your screen. best shot. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if they had heard it loud enough, it, if you'd had, YouTube had heard it loud enough, they would have already uh, strike. The, there would already be problems with it. There'd video. be a. We literally have like a copyright warning pop up on the stream. There's no copyright warning. That lexicogram app is really taking off, huh? Uh, where is next gold brick? I'm playing as the town, I guess. Police dental practice. Oh, Gotham City dental practice. Lovely. Are you saying that the next quest is inside of this building? Hmm. Okay. Ah, here we go. Huh. I wanted to be a member of the Teen Titans when I was younger, but then I realized that it looks like one of the requirements is a tragic backstory and powers and a moral compass. Well, we turned off the cameras. That means there might be a way inside now. What was that? And where inside? Go back to being live wire. I don't want Zazana to commit some type of crime. She's not a villain. <laughs> Livewire, on the other hand, is a villain. Okay, so how do I make my way inside your building? I would like to. Hi, Rudy the Shiny Hunter. It's a storage unit for the gold brick in the ground. Hi, Game Wing. Hello, Jaden. Hi, everyone. Oh, can Livewire not fly? I thought she could. I like the older three comics from the 60s. They were ahead of the curve, says Isaiah. Mm. Awesome, Isaiah. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna need to get a flyer. because I can't see where this brick is. Go back to Dead Man, because... Why not? I need to find a way inside. I deactivated some type of security mechanism. And it just breaks stuff until I figure something out. Oh, hi, John Raymond. Uh -huh. Hey, John. Is that. Hi. Broken? Hmm. Whoops, no, we don't want to be Lex. Stand aside. The real boss has arrived. No, go away, Lex. Nobody wants you right now. Hi, Captain Zack. Hi, everyone. So it says that's off, so then I would just follow the wire leading back into inside, correct? Right? Fly up. Aha! There's how we get in. Who goes there? Excellent, there it is. Now we can use the reverse flash to break this open by spinning around in circles. Some would say he's the reverse. Yeah. There we go. Ta-da! Mm. Uh, DC Johnny is a fast travel point? Okay, awesome game wing. DB, to be honest, DC had the concept of multiverse down even back then. Definitely Isaiah. Well, DC was the one that originated the multiverse. The multiverse was created by DC Comics in the 50s, I believe. The concept of it. And then they really started to capitalize on it in the 1970s. And then, of course, the 1980s was like the full catalyst of the multiverse with their Crisis on Infinite Earths thing. But the problem is DC overuses their multiverse too much. In fact, the past 20 years they've used their multiverse quite a bit. 
Whenever there's some type of weird MacGuffin that they need to reboot everything the they have. Some type of multiverse shenanigans. Even right now. Um, their DC animated universe to make way for um, James Gunn's new thing. They have to basically wipe the slate clean again with another multiverse story. It gets kind of tiresome, to be honest. Not that Crisis on Infinite Earths, like the animated movie, is bad or anything. It's just like, you know, it feels like they already did kind of like wipe the slate clean with the flash type scenario already happened uh the justice league um apocalypse war movie was basically flash like running back in time and you know ending a universe to start another one so i mean they already kind of did that and now like doing the full-blown crisis on infinite earth in yeah crisis on infinite earth like part one through three or whatever it's still basically the same thing it's just a three-part movie. Yeah. Ah. Can I just walk inside that bookstore? Harvey Dent, can we trust him? No. Oh, let's see. Isaiah says Earth 2 originally was in 1948 and 3 in, 19, in 1969. Oh, wow. Or, I'm sorry, in 1963. <laughs> nice job, Riddler. <laughs> I like Tigger. <laughs> Used to be able to do the good Riddler laugh. I'd have to listen to it. I did it on one of our playthroughs. I did the Frank Orson Riddler laugh. Yeah, you did. A long time ago. Uh, there was nothing here. So then, why did I do that? According to this thingy, there's a gold brick nearby, but either it's located on the building or it's located underneath the building. Yep, thank you for sharing uh, Tim Reed on Facebook and in Messenger. Really appreciate that. What, what Linky? Does Luke know about the movie with Evil Star Superman? I don't know, Sharon. What Evil Superman? What do you think of the Dark Knights and DC Rebirth, Luke, says Isaiah? I liked DC Rebirth. I did. I just didn't like what came after DC Rebirth. Hi, Princess Emmy. Hi, Captain Zack. Hi, Hala Montaway. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Jacob Langlet. Hello, everybody. Easy, um, Linky. Alright, thank you for the 120th like, Captain Zack. Appreciate that. If I was a gold brick, where would I be located? Oh, we can buy lots of characters. That's cool. I didn't think we could right now. Alright, I'm going to check the rooftop because I'm not finding the gold brick down here. I'm down here in the... I want to say the slums, but lower level of Gotham. And I'm not seeing our next gold brick. Hi, Jacob Orion. Hi, Tim Reed. Hi, Game Wing. Hi, everyone. I used to find all DC Johnny to make my life easier, says Game Wing One. Mm. Oh, using DC Johnny? DC Johnny is a way of fast traveling. Oh, I don't okay. need to fast travel right now. I'm trying to find gold bricks. Alright. What did you think about Yeet Squad Isekai, says Rage Core? I don't know. I haven't seen anything. Hmm. I thought that was debuting on Crunchyroll or something in the summer. Um, did it come? <clears throat> did it come out in HBO Max or something? Um, I think I think Luke saw the Sandland anime um, trailer. Uh, Sharon, I'm not sure though. Yeah, I I know that it's getting an anime. I haven't watched it. What do you think of Red Death? Says Isaiah. Red Death? You mean the Flash? Batman character? He's okay. Hmm. Where in the world is this brick? Is there going to be a DC Rebirth game? I'd like to ask Luke now, says Captain Zack. Probably not. I would love Luke to play a DC Rebirth game for me someday in the future. Hmm. Says Captain Zack. Hmm. Oh, Sandland is on Hulu? Okay, thank you, The Eyes. Okay, so it's a Hulu show. Interesting. 
Uh, we were we are going to be covering the demo for that game today. Yes. We were going to do it yesterday, but Luke was very tired. The Luke was having a nasty again. headache. Again! Can you believe it? My plants are so thirsty, and they will not shut up about it. This is a Batman thing. <laughs> Oh, it is a Batman puzzle. Oops. What if they made a real live action Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? This is hella Uh, yeah. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Oh, he was asking, actually, Tim, that in the chat. Ah. But that does sound kind of neat. I bet Trayvon would like that. <laughs> <laughs> Trayvon would like that very much. Oh, I'm a hardcore, hardcore Batman fan. My buddy's a hardcore Flash fan, says Isaiah. That's fine. Um, I don't know if the Sandland anime will be English dubbed. I'm not sure, Sharon. I, I would imagine so. I mean, I mean they it's, a, it's basically a Dragon Ball show. They so seem to probably. dub everything. They have so many dubbing companies now. Not as many dubbing companies as you think anymore. Oops. Yeah, with the whole scandal with what happened with them trying oh, to get no, people they, fired and stuff. They, uh, Funimation went out of business. Oh my gosh. They're owned by Crunchyroll now, and Crunchyroll fired a lot of people. Funimation fused with... Because Sony was like, why do we need to have two um, streaming companies in America... Crunchyroll does better than Funimation anyway, so they were just like, uh, you're now part of Funimation. Or you're now part of uh, Crunchyroll. Yeah. Water! At last, my plants will drink once again! That is ridiculous. It's the fifth time this week. Where is that plumber? About time. They'll be so pleased when they find out. Whoa, hey! It's rude to just let yourself in like that. Did you forget to change the locks? I have no idea. Normally, that strange fellow from 7D tinkers with the pipes near the drinking fountain. That usually gets him flowing again. Hello. You must be the plumber, right? I mean, you don't look like a plumber, but what does a plumber look like anyway? I'm not one to judge. <laughs> you don't look like the plumber. I'll be complaining to the landlord about this one. You better make sure you actually fix it this time. I always thought I could hear voices in the walls. Okay, well, there's the gold brick. We did it. All right. Uh, that was fun. So I did... Whoa. Uh, can we go back to the map, please? What huh. is your favorite anime show, says Jaden. My favorite anime show? I have too, an too much anime that I watch. Um... I, I watch a lot of anime. Like, my favorite shows this spring vary. I, I tend to watch simulcast stuff, stuff that happens, like, right away. I like, I like this anime Luke showed me where a dragon was hunting for houses. That was... With an elf. That was almost two and a half years ago now. Three years ago. I like almost. that anime. Um, I like watching Banished uh, Former Hero. Uh, what was it? What was the name of that? The Banished Former Hero Lives As He Pleases is new. That's a really good one. God's Games We Play is pretty decent. Um, How to Love Your Elf Bride is cute. Um, Chillin' in Another World with Level 2 Powers is pretty fun. That's new. The New Gate is really cool. Think of it like Sword Art Online meets Log Horizon. Condition Called Love is adorable. Um, Grandpa and Grandma Become Young Again is super cute. Unnamed Memory is good. Um, Astro Note is about a lady who is an alien human from another world who is posing as a landlord in Japan. It's kind of cute. It's like a rom-com. Mm, what else do I watch? Uh, I think that's it for now. Like... And that one show with the dude who becomes a common writer, it's called Moonlit Fantasy. Like this season he's gonna become a common writer. He's an earthling who's been transported to another world. And it's really fun. So I mean I, I watch new anime all the time. Uh, Crunchyroll is probably my like I, I would never I would never give up Crunchyroll because I don't watch cable. 
Look like uh, School Rumble. School Rumble is my favorite you, anime of all time. You probably would watch cable if it wasn't for me. No, I don't really have any. There's like my. Oh wow, I can. I didn't know I could do that. Well, because our cable is separate from our internet, and we had cable last time that was with our internet. That was in Boston. And we didn't even watch it because there was nothing on. Yep. But I mean, I feel like I keep steering you away from it. No, I don't really. Like most of the stuff that I like was, the they main, don't they don't have an anime the channel. The main reason why I didn't want to watch cable was because there were so many toxic shows on, and it was causing me a lot of problems, like what not to wear and all these other toxic shows. No offense, but it's like these shows aren't good for you to watch. You know, they're just a lot of drama stuff, a lot of in your face, like. Stuff. They should have made us uh, River City Girls anime, says Sharon. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, that would have been neat. I don't know. I mean. I mean, I think game companies, they only have... I mean, think about us. Like, we we only had a certain amount of funds to make, like, an intro for our uh, channel. Game companies are similar. They... Over there? I'm gonna mess with it real good. But first, I need to find a way to spin it around. See if you can find anything nearby that'll help. The bat signal? Where's the bat signal? Game companies, a lot of times, the, the small... Animated cutscene in their game is their anime. Like, that's the budget they have for an animated... I mean, it costs a ton of money per... I mean... I mean, you'd have to have a network to play that show on and stuff. I mean, it's, it's hard to make... It's hard to make an animated show that lasts. So if it's, a, if it's an animated show about an obscure indie game that nobody knows... Even if it's cool or funny, not every, it's not guaranteed people are going to watch it, you know. Is Joker immune to poison in this? Again? The only animated show that I saw that did really well from a video game was either Pokemon or Monster Hunter. Had a, Monster Hunter Stories had a cool anime, but it was only one year. Like, they only did it for, like, one season. But I don't, I don't know if River City Girls would actually... Do well. That's just my personal opinion. Oh, this is a bat signal. Oh, bat signal. Brick. Did you guys do my ultimate this Saturday night? Says Isaiah. And that's um, that would be Back to the Future, right? Oh, uh, back. Uh, yeah. So Back to the Future, Isaiah. That yeah. should be okay. Could try to find that character now, says Game Wing. All right, looking good. Now that it's facing the right way, we gotta get rid of that stupid bat design. Oof. Gotta get rid of the stupid bat design. By what character? My favorite anime are Inazume, Eleven, Bleach, and Spy X Family. Oh, very cool one. Yes, sir, says Whoa. Isaiah. Yes, it will be. Um, later. Oh, there we go. Back to the future, Luke. Proof logo up there. Careful, not too fast now. I've created a masterpiece here. It might even be better than anything the boss ever did. <laughs> I, I joke, of course. Uh, have this for helping me out, and let's keep that joke. For so we so changed much. the bat signal to the haha -ha signal. That's kind of funny. All right, gold brick awarded. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, definitely Sharon. I mean, it would make a fun anime, but, um, I mean, there's a lot of, like, just because, um, just because the characters are well drawn and the voice acting is great and the music is fun and the premise is fun and the show is exciting doesn't always make a successful show. Like, people have to also kind of understand, like, people have to... 
Like, the idea of the show has to be popular. Like, the characters have to... It's kind of... You have to, like, market, like, this idea. If people aren't familiar with the characters, if they're not familiar with it, it probably wouldn't... How did we get up you know. here? It doesn't matter how we got up here. What matters is how we get inside. You got a plan? I mean, that's why David Zaslav was originally trying to market the the trinity of characters because it has to do with the the characters that people know like you could have an amazing show for an obscure DC character with an amazing an animation an epic storyline fantastic voice acting but unless people are already familiar with the character the show won't do well because nobody's gonna watch it because they don't know this character so that's how I feel with the River City Girls. Like, not that many people know those characters. No, the River City Girls are also based on characters that aren't even really the girlfriends of the main characters. I I think they may have had a River City anime, like, because River City's been around for like 30 plus years. But even then, I'm not sure, like, if they've ever actually had a River City anime. Yeah, like, when... if they did, it would be about Kunio and uh, Ricky. Like, when um, Jackie Chan decided to parody an anime in one of his movies, he parodied one of the most famous animes that people knew, which was City Hunter. Oh, no, he didn't decide to parody that. He was hired by Japan. Oh, okay. He was hired uh, to make that movie. That's interesting. Because City Hunter was so popular that uh, they... Yeah, they so has... The director got the rights to do it, and he tried to make an authentic thing as best he could, and... A lot of people love the, uh, the City Hunter anime. It's, it's pretty funny. I'd, I'd say it did justice to the original show. And the show actually was going off the air when that movie came out. Like, City Hunter had a very long run. Like, 12 years or something yeah, like that I as an anime. I think you showed me some clips of the show. Yep. When we saw the jo Jackie Chan movie. And then in the 2000s, City Hunter came back with a new, either a reboot or a continuation of the show. I don't remember. Yeah, unfortunately, the shows and movies we, we get. get up here? It doesn't matter how. There it is. This is how we do what this quest. What matters is how we get inside. You got a plan? How do we get up here? It doesn't matter how we got up here. What matters is how we get inside. You got a plan? Okay, so we need to. I think the Riddler can recruit people. What building is this? Is this Wayne? To hear a riddle. Wayne Enterprises. Okay, so we recruit these guys. Oh. Trayvon says, my favorite anime is One Piece, and it is very successful. Yes, it is. That is true. One Piece is really successful, um, Trayvon. Right, we don't have a grappling weapon, so that means we need to be Joker. It would have been funny if that line... If Joker was out and about for that side yeah. mission. We can get in here. Come on. Ooh, nice office. We are inside of the Wayne building. Uh, start looking around? <laughs> okay. Wayne Enterprises. Uh, hi, uh, Sammy Bear King. Hi, everyone. I shared on Facebook and the groups to help you guys. Thank you, Captain Zach. Is the way inside some kind of riddle, or are we just stuck here? Is it a test, maybe? <sighs> See if you can find a way in. Mm. Oh, wow. Ninja Log got an anime with 112 episodes? Unbelievable. So, Snow Coffee. I would have never thought that would have been a thing. No Ninja Log was popular in Japan. Oh. That's why. It wasn't really popular here very much. That game kind of fell off really hard here in the United States, I feel like. Yeah, because it didn't work. Just like Gundam is more popular in Japan than it is in the States. Although Look, a way in. <laughs> Let's find the others. Spread out. Our info says that safe in here. Find it. Yeah. I haven't heard of Okay. I haven't heard of those um animes, Heck Girl or Ghost Stories. <laughs> I didn't really understand the comment Drago's making, like, but it's yeah. funny if the if that line hanged if Joker was out and about for that side mission. Hmm. Aren't they just gonna discover that Bruce Wayne is Batman here in his office, though? 
Um, we like anime with slapstick, uh, Daffy. Uh, they had a lot of slapstick in, um... Sergeant Frog. Sergeant Frog, and even in a little bit of slapstick in, uh... Uh, School Rumble, where people had to eat stuff that was gross. Yeah, School Rumble's a long time ago, though. Like, uh, the last slapstick thing that I remember would be, uh... Would be, uh, Sergeant Frog. Did you guys know that the... Spy X Family movie will be in theaters, the English dub version, says OH. I have never seen the English dub series. I only watch it subtitled. I only watch it in its native Japanese language. I've never heard what the uh, dub characters sound like. You need something? <laughs> My favorite anime is Bo 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 comedy parody anime. It's just Snow Coffee. Oh, I remember that. That was a long time ago, too. <laughs> Bo 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 was a long time ago. My favorite anime is There it is. That weird new goon found it. Good work, no guy. Alright, so who does this? Oh, Malcolm Merlin? Okay, so we need to switch to Malcolm. There he is. Nothing escapes my arrows. And one nine zero two one eight is that all that was in there? this has been a disappointing caper perhaps with this I'll be able to prove I'm the greatest archer in all the land there we go another gold brick haha -ha. okay so we'll go see if condiment king is available and if not then we're gonna go do uh we're gonna go do the Gorilla Grodd story mission, because, uh, kinda had fun goofing off, but really like to see Condiment King, but he's not there. Mm. Which is kinda weird. He's supposed to be there. My favorite anime is Beyblade Burst Ace Attorney Yokai Watch. Oh, the Ace Attorney anime is fantastic. Very cool, uh, William. Is it only on sub only? Says Ragecore. No. It's on public. It's it's all we're always streaming on public. No, they're asking about an anime subs only. I don't think so. Oh, that's an anime? No. Oh. No, no, no. One. Economy King. I may be reformed, but not reformed enough to not hunt you down. Food is good 24. Oh, I understand now. Subtitles only. Okay. Gotcha. King. Sorry, I misinterpreted it. Sorry, uh, Ragecore. I understand what you're saying now. Subtitles. Oh. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm trying to interpret the anime questions, but I don't really watch a lot of anime. So. King. Last night was the grand opening of my new restaurant with condiments to the chef. But you would not believe the nerve of the critics who showed up and, might I add, ate for free. Technically, I've given up my life of crime, but this is a matter of honor. Those snooty reviewers need to know that when you play with hot sauce, you get burned. Oh my gosh. I think we destroyed his restaurant. Oops. So this came full circle, so... Condiment King was the guy who was the chef, and then we ruined his restaurant. And now he wants revenge. Let's put the squeeze on these petty pundits. You know, like how you have to squeeze plastic bottles to get the condiment flow going. Like that. <laughs> what was that? My gosh. It's come full circle. That's he's, kind of cool. He's making puns about squeezing ketchup on people. Well, the decor of this place was nothing to be scoffed at, but the presto frittata was a little too pesto and not enough frittata. I think you'll find that my Italian cuisine is the authentic taste of the hidden valleys of the Dolomite. Uh, why would this be a hero? Actually, we don't want to do this as Superman. It's kind of messed up. Um... Prometheus works. There. I always like doing villain quests as the villains. I don't like beating up regular people as a, a hero. Yeah, why would you? Well, that's right, the condiment came in. Evict the condiments is an insult to food. The best thing to do would be to 
How you say? Close it down. Hey, why don't you close that mouth? Wow. <laughs> So the condiment king quips and then kills people with ketchup. Yep. Literally, how do you die? We gave it one spoon out of ten at the Gazette. Uh, what did you give it at the planet? A phone call to the health inspector. Great. Now I have two problems to deal with, you selfish freeloaders. Like, how could you kill somebody with ketchup? Though? Um, drown them? It's not the way I would want to go. I relish to think about it. <sighs> relish the thought. Relish the thought. Oh. <laughs> There's still more food critics? I used to have a yacht the marina until Why are you Why are you finding the food critics? I'm so confused. Condiment King wants revenge against the food critics. Why? Because they shut his restaurant down? Yep, he tried to go straight and they ruined his restaurant, so now he wants revenge. <laughs> I really liked their food. It was quirky. The service left something to be desired, though. And they wouldn't even accept my tip. Tipping culture is flawed. I pay my wage staff a living wage. <laughs> <laughs> Tipping culture is kind of flawed, though. That's what I've heard. You get paid like three dollars an hour and then they depend on tips and then if nobody tips you you're not getting paid anything it's better to be paid like a, a normal wage you went to that new whiff condiments restaurant right what did you think of it they gave me a slice of cake molded from horseradish as a dessert and all there was to drink was french dressing it was terrible i gave it three stars out of five online aha food is good 24. my arch nemesis Prepare to eat those words and my condiment. <laughs> is this the right people to beat up? I guess it was. You know what I hate? It's like you. That'll show them. And if they think for one second that I'll be changing my menu based on their constructive feedback, they'll have another thing coming. Never change yourself for anyone. Be true to yourself. Embrace life. And all the sauces and dressings it offers. Conway King! Embra let's go! Embrace life and all the sauces and dressings it offers. People should use motivational speeches from Condiment King. Never change yourself for anyone. What if the food tr critics want you to change Nobody's Condiment King? Catch up to me today. <laughs> Look, you're killing me with ketchup. Yep. You're killing the citizens with mustard and ketchup. They just couldn't cut the mustard. Wow. I'm excited. All right, there he we go. He literally has a crown on his chest. Yep. Okay, so we need to go back to the swamp area now because we're going to go... Uh... I just don't know how long has Condiment King been around. It just seems like he's been 30 around. years? Why? I just don't understand why he was made. He was made during the animated series as a one-off character. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, time to do the Gorilla Grodd level. Oh, a weird villain. It's a fun villain! It's weird. It's fine. Whoops. Oh. Wait, you can jump over there? Yes, you can. Oh. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Alright, time for Gorilla Grodd. Give them the purple ketchup from the 1990s to early 2000s, says Drago. The jet's ready to depart when you are. Next stop, Gorilla City. Gorilla City! Are you feeling better, says Sammy? Yeah, I don't have a headache anymore. Yeah, I'm feeling fine, Sammy. Thank you. Do I like my melody, Sharon? I don't know. I hope you're doing okay, Sammy. Hello, Ashley Weaver. Hi, everyone. Star Labs, the Galaxy Communications Gala, and now Arkham. The Justice Syndicate have let villains escape each and every time. These new heroes aren't quite filling the boots the League left behind. Say, why does Flash wear boots anyway? Aren't they kind of hard to run in? He should wear sneakers. 
It could be because the Justice Syndicate are Earth-3 heroes, not used to our Earth. Or perhaps our Earth-1 villains are too sneaky for them? There's something fishy about the Justice Syndicate, and I'm not just talking about Sea King. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Let's get back to work. The best place for us to be right now is the Planet Newsroom. So despite a couple of hiccups, the Galaxy Communications Tower is open for business. Reports of a breakout at Arkham have been greatly exaggerated, and our friends, the Justice Syndicate, are hot on the heels of the one or two villains that may still be at large. If we're meeting Grodd in his palace, couldn't you have parked a little closer, Luthor? I don't want to startle the wildlife. Have you ever seen what a surprised ape can do? Softly, softly, catchy monkey. Grod's an ape, you fool. Ah. Huh. This Gorilla City place don't seem so advanced to me. This isn't the actual city, genius. These old ruins act as a secret entrance. Uh, I knew that. Impressive. Let's see if we can find our way inside. Checkpoint! Alright, what's the name of this chapter? Gorilla City. Oh, okay, it is called Gorilla City. Okay, so we're doing the story now. Um, do all the Gorilla City thing. Probably take an hour. And then uh, more of the actual story tomorrow. And so anyway, guys and gals, let's keep those likes up. Your next like goal is 140. We're playing as Captain Cold, Reverse Flash, and Heat Wave. Wait, he wave actually. Yeah, there he is. He's got his heat gun. Hanuman King is good at staining people's clothes, says Destro. They actually try to make him a serial killer in the comics, though. Oh, wow. Yeah. He made his comic debut sometime in the 2000s. They made him a. Uh... Well, I mean, he was an easily defeatable enemy, but they did make him a killer. Bananas. Whoops. Okay. Break all this stuff. Link, what are you up to? Oh, I know what that is. I should be able to burn through this in no time. And that ain't just a metaphor. We're gonna dig with Cheetah. And then Lex has the ability to break silver objects. So we're gonna keep digging. Oh, alright, that didn't go well. Lex, can you break this, please? Thank you. Another digging mound for Cheetah. What is it, Link? You wanna come over here? Hello, little cat. Somebody has a tiny meow. He has a tiny meow, but he's such a big boy. You gonna situate yourself down? Mm, I'm sorry. Sammy says I'm tired of my boss. It's frustrating. Mm. I'm sorry, Sammy. My boss is very annoying, and he feels extremely frustrated. We'll definitely keep you in our thoughts and prayers, Sammy. I'm sorry about that. What do we have here? Oh I, no, I, not this. I do care. I just sound. For some reason, I've been I've been streaming. I've done a few streams today, so I'm, yeah, I don't know if I'll be on the sand. But I'll be on this one. And then I'll get up later to cook the, the bread. So we need to position the ball in place. Like this. I'm sorry, you don't deserve that, Sammy. Sammy, you're a wonderful person. Yeah, Amber's tired, so... Sorry. There we go. And then bring this over like this. I'm trying to get in the ball into position. Oops! 
There we go. I'm amazed I remembered that puzzle. That was a long time ago. Hey, buddy. Well, I mean, I don't know. A welcoming committee? Why do they look so angry? They knew we were coming, right? It looks like someone forgot to give them the memo. Defend, Defend yourself. yourselves against the angry well, monkeys. Just Anybody know a place where people don't want to beat us up? Us? Yes. You? No. And they're going ape. Monchita. Oh, those are guys in monkey suits. No monkey business. No, I was just thinking, Sammy, when we got married, both of, both of our jobs got worse. So I feel like sometimes people are jealous after people get married. I don't know. I feel like things get harder sometimes. You know, something good happens to you, and then suddenly everything in life bad happens. Starts happening. I hope that doesn't happen. To me. Go down, monkey. Wait, the heat wave needs to do something about that guy. He is not. Wait. Okay, heat wave. Was that wrong? Oh, I was correct. He was wearing armor. Okay. The heat is on. Uh, where'd the parrot go? Oh, that's one way of doing that. So, Heat Wave and Captain Cold. City of the Apes. That's right. It's okay, Game Wing. I'll be alright. Shall we find tomorrow? Oops. Let's see, if I had a flyer, I could probably get up there and get that. Oh! What is it, Link? I think he's going to yeah. Who's the dumber people. villain? Condiment King or Kite Man? Um, I don't know. I think Condiment King. I can't imagine anyone being weirder than Condiment King. Stop bunking around, says Destro. Aw, it's alright, Amber Hugs. Virtual Hug Sammy, thank you very much. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of stressing about an email myself, but I think it will be alright. I don't know. Email? Oh, that. It's just something really dumb. It's nothing, nothing compared to anyone's job or anything. It's just stupid. Oh, no! Well, that didn't work out well. I accidentally died. Luke had the most stress of the two of us because he had to do the. Uh, finish I don't even know if it's finished. I sent it all into her. I know, honey. I didn't mean to bring it up. I hope it's. I hope it's done, but. I know. I will. I will. I will get the. We'll, let's just focus on the game. I'm sorry. Can she? How the world am I supposed to get up there to get that stuff? Unless that's free play. But I am in a good mood because I made homemade, or I, I made dough for homemade bread, and I made tea on the stove. Ah! So that was good. So I was supposed to use Cheetah to climb up here. Okay. And I, and I was starting a new, somewhat new morning series, which is Animal Crossing for a couple days a week. But I'm actually in Luke's town, so... <laughs> Yep, it goes by console. Yeah. Oh, I did that, okay. Cheetah climbed up here, Cheetah did the thing. Oops. Alright, now for us, time to move on because I actually got what I needed to from there. Okay. Moving on. Alright, guys and gals, let's keep those likes up. We're almost at 140. Remember, likes and shares bring people in. We're an hour and 20 minutes into the stream. We are in Gorilla City. Well, I mean, we're on the outskirts of Gorilla City, we're in the jungle. That was really cool that they put Grodd in the Flash um, show, though. Of course they would. He's a Flash villain. 
Oh, I didn't realize that. Yes. Ultra Humanite and uh, Grodd, Captain Cold, you know, pretty much all Flash's rogues are in there. <laughs> Technically, Grodd is also a Justice League villain, but for the most part, he is a Flash villain. I believe. Oh no! Curse you, depth perception! Well, thank you, Tyler. Um, appreciate that. Um, I watched a long time ago, and thank you for posting Game or Christmas with the Key Wings way back in the day. Helped me get through the holidays when my parents weren't around. Thank you. I appreciate. Um, thanks for the kind words. I hope you have a nice day, Tyler. That's probably free play. Alright, I have to stop losing studs. Oh! No, 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 no! Switch back to reverse flash! Oh. Nope. Okay, am I... I'm on? I'm on. Alright. Here we go. Swing. Swing for it, and go! Someone get the parrot! No, don't fly away, parrot. I, I meant to hit you. No! Hi, Savon. How's it going? Great to see you. Darn. Hope you're having a great day. City of the Apes, says Game Wing 1. Mm, City of the Apes winning. Game Wing not. Wait, does this still have studs for I have seen some Yu-Gi-Oh monsters dumber than Condiment King or Kite Man, says Rubble Fleet. Uh-oh. More monkeys! Might have to be monkeys! Doesn't Kite Man become Plastic Man, says Sammy? I don't know. I don't believe so, no. Grodd from Flash was the best version of him? Interesting, Dark Side. CW Grodd was actually pretty decent. Whoops. I liked how... Well, I liked how Dr. Wells cared about Grodd. But I didn't know if it was Dr. Wells' reverse flash or regular Dr. Wells that cared about Grodd. I couldn't figure that out. I couldn't really understand where Dr. Wells ended and uh, reverse flash began. Hi, Alpha. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Hi, Savon. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. Yeah, For a ball. Okay, so we need to use Lex's powers of rapid. Or. Explodiness. Hmm. Yeah, I I think we're having an alright day. Yesterday I clipped a little. That might have been part of what made Luke have a headache. But I think it was the stress of things. But I made um I made some uh, quiche yesterday, so that was I think that was pretty good. I'm tickling the apes. I don't know about that, but maybe I am. So we've got most of the stuff taken care of. I'm literally getting so many Chuck E. Cheese commercials. Mm. They must know me really well. Alright, so... Mm. This? <laughs> I can imagine myself as a parent in the future taking kids to Chuck E. Cheese as them running all over the place. And me just passed out on the floor from exhaustion trying to get to the kids. I don't even know if Chuck E. Cheese is still really around, though. I thought there was one... Uh, I don't know. I thought we saw one that was a few towns away. I don't know. What's that weird... There was that weird, odd, like, Chuck E. Cheese, like, scandal that TikTokers were trying to do against Chuck E. Cheese uh -huh. to get them canceled, but in reality it was fake. Like, basically what they were doing was they were lying and they were saying that, like, that basically the lie that they tried to say against Chuck E. Cheese to try to get them canceled was they were trying to say that... 
Chuck E. Cheese waits until a birthday party is over and then picks up all of the unused pieces of pizza, gathers them up, and then reheats it and gives it to the next person. Ooh. But that is not true. It's actually not true. Because the reason why it's a figure out how to use this. The reason why sometimes you get a pizza from Chuck E. Cheese and the pieces look somewhat uneven is because their pizza crust is like kind of like it's not a full circle, it's like handmade kind of. So it kind of is wavy on the outside. So it actually turned out that it wasn't true. Like they were just lying about that. But yeah, they were trying to cancel Chuck E. Cheese and say they were giving people old pizza, but that wasn't true. That was kind of mean. I don't even know why I just said that. I have no idea. Uh, I don't understand why TikTokers are always trying to start something with people. It's weird. They're mean. Oh, yeah, I remember that, says Alpha. Yeah, it wasn't true because they had a lot of employees of Chuck E. Cheese come out and say, like, no, their pizza crust is uneven because that's the way it's made. It's handmade, and when you cut it, the pieces will be different shapes. I don't think I can get in here. No, I, I, I think that's, I think this is a replay thing. I don't think I can actually Chuck get in. Chuck E. Cheese was my childhood. Awesome death stroke. I only got to go one time, and it was, it was like heaven on earth. It was amazing. And I played the, the games all day, and the only thing I could afford was this rat, this comb that had a picture of a rat on it, that was green. Yeah, well, it's I just like, I didn't really get any good prizes, but at least I had fun at the... Chunky Cheese is pretty fun, though. Man. I wasted so many of my, uh... My things, because it wouldn't let me... Won't let me go over there. All right, guys. Your next light goal is uh, let's shoot for 160. Chuck E. Cheese's, um, Jacob Langlet. That's cool. Yeah, a lot of them had to shut down for some reason. I mean, there weren't well, a lot Well, during of the them. pandemic. So. There's a lot of things that shut down. Yeah, it feels like some kind of evil mastermind was secretly trying to make all the restaurants shut down. I don't know about that, but, I mean, when you prevented people from going to work, it did cripple a lot of businesses. wasn't handled very well. Yeah, I remember seeing like a video where a guy who owned his own business was arguing with like some authorities and was saying, you know, like, I decided I'm going to keep my business open. You said we could if we wanted to. And they were trying to shut it down. And he was like, I'm willing to take the risk. I can't lose the money. They were. They kept arguing with him, and it was it was frustrating to watch because it's like you own the property, you have to pay all of the taxes and the rent, the the, the water on it, and the heat to keep it going, and they won't allow you to keep your business going. Like, it's just crazy. Oh please, as if you fools could match monkeys. Mahaha! That's what you get. Alright, so I managed to get back some of the studs that I lost. But not really. Oh, yeah. you went for your 11th birthday? Awesome, Alpha. I went to a birthday party for one of my brothers. And my Monkeys. No more monkey business. Nah, I just watched Reverse Flash by <laughs> We have to wait for this to disappear, then you run over here, then we're gonna have to run up the stairs. Hopefully not get squished. Aha! Winning. 
Okay, now it's time to go to where we actually see Grodd. Oof. Okay, yep, here we go. This is it. We're getting there. Oh gosh, that could be bad. Alright, so you basically have to, to avoid the boulder, you have to hide behind the, um, these things. behind these ledges. Cool. Waiting for the boulder. Uh-oh. I'm out in the open. Take that, monkeys. You don't mess with cheetah. Oh. What was that, dude? Hmm. Whose plane is that? It looks like some of the parts might be useful. We don't have a Green Lantern. Salvage operation, huh? Let's see what we got. How do you expect me to do this without a Green Lantern? Or even a Sinestro character? That's not till later. Wait, 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 wait. Go in here first. Okay, then. Never mind. Yeah, we need a Green Lantern, so that's free play. That's not even available right now. DoorDash made a lot of money through the pandemic of Deathstroke. Yep, DoorDash did. DoorDash put everybody in a financial bind. Because, I mean, you know, by not letting people go to the store, people were so scared to go to the store, like all these companies, these restaurants and other places made a killing for having food delivered. If I could go back and do the pandemic again, I would have invested in food companies like DoorDash. Right. Yeah, if you could go back in time and know the future, you know, exactly. Mm -hmm. Alright, so then... What are we trying to do here? Oh, uh, we need, we need the guy with the heat gun. This is what I did wrong last time, too, in the original series. You need the heat gun, heat this up, airplane falls down. Oh, you've done DoorDash, um, Phantom, J-Dog, like, work for them? That's cool. Hmm. I had to spend a lot of money on DoorDash during the pandemic. Yeah, I think a lot of people did. A lot sure. of us had to. Because sometimes they didn't even allow people to go out of their houses, and, like, in New York City, they forced people to stay home. Oh, my God. You didn't know about that? You didn't see that? No. Where they basically had lockdowns on the street that no one was allowed out of their house? Wow. I'm it thankful was... at least we could have left. We left our house. Somewhere. There was like a week where nobody could leave here. Like, or there was a, no, there was, it was a, uh, like you couldn't, oh no, you could leave, but you had to be in your house by six o'clock or something. The only thing I like remember. They had, they had some, they had some strict, uh, Oh, like, weird stuff. Curfews and stuff. Yeah, but they weren't really enforcing the curfews in this part of Pennsylvania. As long as you had a mask, you could go out and buy food. In fact, when we went to the grocery store, there was hardly anybody there. It was actually my favorite time to go to the grocery store when there was nobody there. Then when more people started wearing masks and stuff like that, there was too many people at the grocery store. I'll be taking this for my collection. collection. Cool. Monkeys! So many monkeys! Knock off all that monkey stuff. Okay, there we go. Oh, we already have true supervillain status. Well, that's the kind of situation my so Then we just need to make our way into Gorilla City where Grodd and that one guy are gonna fight. Solomon, I think is his name. I don't remember. Could have made a killing in bread machine stall quick. A lot of people made had bread machines. I didn't know that. Yeah, bread mm. Ah, so we need the reverse flash. Let's say he's reverse. 
<laughs> yep, it was a crazy year, Alpha. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. There's rumors like that people are saying that it would happen again, but I really hope not. I hope to God it will not happen. The best way to prevent a lot of diseases spreading all over the place is for people to have proper hygiene. Yes, yeah, washing your hands. Washing your hands. That's what we said at thing. the very beginning and people laughed at us. They're like, you can't prevent viruses by washing your hands. Like, then why did they tell me both in my culinary class and my medical assisting class from a woman who was a nurse for 25 years that 97% of viruses are actually prevented just by washing your hands? You'd be surprised Literally, that before the pandemic, there's very few people in America that would wash their hands before going What's back to work after having lunch. Well, so you're spreading all kinds of isn't it like obvious? germs and diseases oh, on doorknobs. And you you all should kinds be of stuff. washing your hands, obviously after using the bathroom, but also after you eat, before you eat. When you come home from work, you should wash your hands. If you've been outside touching people, touching the gas pump, touching doorknobs, you should wash your hands when you come inside from work. And what they were doing in Korea and other in Japan and stuff was, as soon as you come home, wash your hands, change your outfit huh. immediately, so you get the job done. and take a shower. And that prevented a lot of problems. Everybody relax. Grodd has invited mm -hmm. us, remember? <laughs> this is going to be a walk in the park. Capes of Gorilla City? Take us to your leader. <laughs> Greetings, oh great. Solovar? <laughs> Who's this guy? Where's Grodd? Grodd has been banished from here. Gorilla City is now under my rule. Grodd was so specific, we had to meet him here. That is correct, Mr. Luther. Thank you for accepting my... Invitation. Solomar! I will vanquish you and take back my city! You're welcome to try. <laughs> Clever, Grodd. Luring me out with your pets. Hey! I love how Reverse Flash says, Hey, we're not pets. Solovar. <laughs> Alright, so this is the end of Gorilla City. This level. Well, this section, because now we basically, the checkpoint is to fight as Gorilla Grodd. It's both a quick time thing and I think the other characters help you. But I, I never say Solovar's name right. This city no longer belongs but he has Sol such a cool Solovar. voice. He has a cool voice in this. My yeah. So he is the rightful ruler of Gorilla City, but Grodd, but Grodd, took over. Grodd always takes over. Guarantee you'll pay for that. Oh, look at Grotty's doing. And that. there are a bunch of super intelligent apes. Guards, stop them. Yeah. Arrest the intruders. It's basically like think of it kind of like um, the Planet of the Apes, but not the entire planet. Does that make sense? The City of the Apes. City of the Apes. Yeah. I never watched the new Planet. The new Planet of the Apes movies were um, pretty intense. I've never seen them ever, I just heard things about them. Matt Reeves uh, was the guy behind those movies. Oh my god. So the dude from the Batman movie. Okay. Whoops. Well, that's one way of doing that. Prince are no match for me! The meteorites are no match for you? Okay. I am a greater leader to our people than you ever were, Grodd. Accept that your time is over. Accept that I'm gonna punch you with my monkey fist. <laughs> Missed me! You gonna hide behind your force field again? This will put a stop to you! Will it now? Actually, it might. Oh! Ouch! I did get hit by the force field. Oof. 
So yeah, it's a good idea to um, make sure you get true supervillain status before coming to the Solovar fight because it's kind of hard to get studs at this point. Your focus should just be beating up the Silver Ape guy. This city no longer belongs to you, Grodd. So I hear. Surrender now before my patience expires. No need to, you know, go all... Ow. Dude. Dude! Is that a mini Statue of Liberty, says Drago? Where? Oh, was that supposed to be like Planet of the Apes reference? Where'd you see the Statue of Liberty? I don't see anything. Uh, These are monkey statues. I don't see it, but maybe it is somewhere. Maybe they did it as an Easter egg. You guys are seeing something now. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, he's gonna run at us. Do the old Bane charge. There it is. Of course, Squad will think a superhero like Solovar is a bad guy, says Sammy Birkin. I'd say Solovar is a superhero. He's just the rightful leader of Gorilla City. He's a good guy. He's under the good element, but I've never really seen him be a part of a superhero team. He's a person, and his name is Solovar. No, he's not a person. He's an ape. He's a gorilla. Very angry gorilla with a spear. This city no longer belongs to you, no, Rod. Surrender Gorillas. now before my patience expires. Quit monkeying around, Luke, says Isaiah. Sorry. When monkeys clash, says Imperator Penguin. Yep. Yep, my spear definitely game wing. Help! Do I have any cool power-ups other than this? Yeah, Solvar's voice does sound cool. This will put a stop I recognize his voice. I just can't pinpoint where I've heard his voice. He's a very good voice. A very popular um, voice actor, but I can't remember who it's the actor. Is. Kind of driving me bananas. Oh, you have all the Planet of the Apes movies, Garth? That's cool. Very cool. I like the original with Charlton Heston. But they were just I am a greater leader to the Planet of the Apes movies are always to Accept that your time is over. I will not accept that my time is over. I was kind of disturbed by that. And then he thinks he's on a different planet, but he then he sees the Statue of Liberty in the sand. He realizes you destroyed everything, you fool! Yeah. My guards and he realizes it is our custody. planet. Seize them. Don you all, Don you all, the heck? Famous line. Oh, monkeys! Well, thank you, Lex. Uh. A random bird crashed here? Okay. What? I'm the one that's expected to build? Your dad is obsessed with the Planet of the Apes movies? Richard, interesting. Very cool. Get your filthy paws off me, you darn dirty apes, says the eyes. Get your filthy paws off me, you dirty apes. Yeah. Charlton Heston was really cool. He acted that scene dr so dramatically, you felt so much pain. Well, I mean, he came literally to a planet of the apes. And they were acting like humans were the animals. Mm -hmm. Like we were inferior to them. I didn't want it to come to this. Whoa, he's gonna use his ape powers. Wait, how am I supposed to deal with you now? I don't remember this Let's section. See you deal with this. Oh, he just charges at me again. Aha! You leave me no alternative. There's always an alternative. How are you, Luke and Amber? Says Brandon. Okay. We're pretty good, Brandon. Hope you were doing it good. Uh, hope you're having a great day too. City no longer belongs to you, Grodd. Surrender now. Am I supposed to throw Before him like that? Maybe mind, con mind control. I didn't want it to come side. to this. Mind control? 
How? But I thought Solvar has mind powers. Yeah, he has mind powers. I wasted all the stuff that I was supposed to have to run into. Okay, oh that man, Solvar is super intense. He's got a spear! Oh, there's one place left for me to no get him to run into over here. I just need to get I feel out. bad for Grog. Grog will be fine. He's having a rough day. Grog is the villain, though. This will put a stop he to still you. needs a hug. Got him! Hey, Grog wins! Haha! -ha! Apes of Gorilla City, kneel before Grog. <laughs> Gorilla City now belongs to me. Thank you for your help, Mr. Luther. It seems like we didn't have much choice. If you'd have known my plan, Solovar could have seen it in your thoughts and pulled it from your mind. <gasps> Regardless, should you ever require aid... Funny you should mention that. Uh, <sighs> no. Hi, Clayton. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know what I can really do to help, but, I mean, you're free to, uh, DM me. I don't get off work until, like, 2 in the morning. You put the ape in his place, his dark side. I feel kind of bad defeating him, though. Like, he wasn't a bad... a bad guy. Grodd is the bad guy. Not right, Linky. Now, I don't remember if we actually restore uh, Solovar to his position of power or not. Thank you for the super chat, Clayton. Appreciate that so much. Thank you. That helps out a lot, Clayton. Thank you. Mm. All right. So we've unlocked two ape characters. All right, time to continue the story. Welcome, Grodd. We can introduce you to everyone later. I need you to help collect our next recruit. You want me to find Sinestro? Mm. Pick those you think will be most helpful. Oh, I can find out where Sinestro is. I'm his biggest fan. Yes. And you? Oh, the rookie, eh? Yes, that one is becoming most useful. Very well. Any thoughts on where to start looking? Ah, uh, he's been captured by the crime syndicate and taken to Oa. Hmm, the home of the Green Lantern Corps. I can locate a vessel to get us there. Very clever. Well, you didn't bring me along for my personality. Come along, my silent friend. If it's a spaceship we need, I happen to know an aircraft hangar near Smallville where we can find one. Yeah, that's fine, Clayton. Just uh, send the script over. I've done that before. Okay, so we're the monkey now. Uh, where to go now? It's too soon in the stream yet. We have some gold bricks around this area we could tackle. May as well. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so I am over here. There's a gold brick in the swamp area. So we're not going to continue the story. Yeah, that's okay. Luke already said he would, um, yeah, he would definitely, um, be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm sure Luke will message you um, and figure it out. The sounds... yeah. Wait, is this the... this is the gold first? What is this? Yep, thanks Anchor. for the super chat, Clayton. And, uh, that sounds cool. You've got a documentary for college. Wow, that sounds really cool. Well, thank you very much, Clayton. And I'm glad college is going very well for you. Okay, so... Well, thank you for... Wow, thank you, Clayton. Oh, I should have stopped over here. I should have stopped over here. $70. Mm. $70. No. There you go. Hmm. 
think it's a good boy. All right, so I'm trying to find. We're gonna do some gold bricks in the swamp. Wow, thank you so much, Clayton. Really appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for your generosity, Clayton. Thank you. Swamps. Ow, 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 Link. Easy, buddy. Easy. Don't, don't do that. Oh wow. Uh, today was the. Uh, uh, 112 years ago today, the Titanic sank oh, wow. beneath the Atlantic. I once knew one of the survivors when I was a kid, says Richard. That's interesting, Richard. Uh, five of the survivors were from my town in Massachusetts. Wow. Rose was actually based off of a real person, says Richard. Oh, I'm sure. Interesting. And she was talking at a Princess Emmy about that. Whoa! Oh, you're doing a project of the Arkham series? Awesome, Alpha. Very cool. That sounds fantastic, Alpha. I, I wish you all the best with that. It sounds great. Hey there, Whoa! I need your help again. The Green Lantern puzzle is so annoying in this story mode, says Sammy Bear King. Well, I mean, you can't do Green Lantern puzzles until you have Sinestro, so... Um, where is the gold brick at? Oh, I'm nowhere near it. Oh, Grod can jump very high if you hold X down on PlayStation, says Darkseid. Yep. You have the Titanic movie and soundtrack. Awesome, Princess Emmy. Very cool. Alright, guys, so we're going to do some gold bricks here in the swamp. And then uh, tomorrow will be the Sinestro stuff. So, we got our first gold brick located. It looks like inside of this cave. Oh, we need somebody with super strength. That would be Grodd. Or, in this case, is Wonder Woman somebody with 112 years ago. That's not even that long ago if you think about it, because, I mean, it's only a generation ago that that happened. Why don't we just throw it in here? It's just... It's crazy. Horrible tragedy, like... I can't even believe how many people are on that ship. It must have been so many. Alright, I'm gonna look it up. I don't know if that's a good thing to look up. I'm looking at Okay, so we need to be Cheetah. I have a feeling things are about to get a little wild. Things are about to get wild. Alright. Oh, so somebody predicted the whole Green Lantern thing. Yeah, we need to use Green Lantern again. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? 2,240 passengers were on one ship. Titanic had 2,000 people on it. Unbelievable. Uh, I can't believe it. It's supposed to make that growling noise? Oh, that's nice. Gold brick found. Good job, Grod. Alright, next one. I'm gonna go here. Whoops. Okay. Hey. I'm gonna go here. Oh, thank you, Brandon. Hope you're having a great day, too. Thank you so much, Brandon. Clayton says I'm on Discord. You can DM me whenever. Um, yeah, sometimes it's hard for us to go on Discord, but I don't know. Maybe Luke will be able to get on there. Or maybe he has other places he can message it to. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure he'll figure it out. Um, thank you, Clayton. Yeah, because Clayton deactivated his um, uh, Twitter. I was just doing my oh, I understand. All of a sudden, I heard a snap, and then... A growl! Them gators sure look hangry. Maybe they're wanting some of my swamp meat in that barrel there. You want me to feed your gators? Uh... Challenging a mentally intact super gorilla? You're even less intelligent than you look. Wow, that's not very nice. He said I'm an unintelligent gorilla. Prometheus doesn't talk much, which makes this perfect. Okay, so where do I get the meat to do this? Oh. Wait, what? Okay, so where's the rest of these gators I'm supposed to feed? Oh, they keep popping up out of the woodwork. Okay. Ah, there's another one. 
kind of see that the gators pop up. They're very small. Gators. Okay. Ah, there they are. Right in the face, it says. And the last gator's over there in the corner. Done. Gee whiz. You sure are good at throwing meat. You've done that before? Here, take this brick I found in that there swamp for your trouble. It's real shiny. You reckon them gators will come back now that I've fed them? Uh-oh. I best be getting more meat. I was hoping for a cuddly polar bear doll, but this will do. All right, another gold brick acquired. There we go. Okay, so I was feeding gators. Yep, the women and children were on the boats first. That's right, Tim. Yep. Now. Um. Next one is there's one way up here in the corner. I don't know what this is about. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, like I don't really know. I mean, I I think that used to be the rule for a lot of things. People used to always have women and children exit first because they were weaker. So also women. Uh, I mean, without women, you're, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess there's a lot of reasons behind it. It's the honorable thing, I guess. Oh, why women and children? They've always done it that, well, I don't know if they do it that way anymore, but they used to because women were, the men would work and the women would raise children. So you would need a mother's nurturing care for children to take yeah. care of the kids more than, you know, if you have to choose between a husband and a wife, uh, they always would put the women first. It's just how it is, or was. At, with our society today, I don't know if that's still a thing, or if people would, you know, you know like the people kids, would probably fight each other for the lifeboats. Kids need their mom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a man worked and a woman raised the kids usually, like a woman's. For centuries and even thousands of years, men have always uh, risked their life for women. Sacrifice their life for women and children. It's been like that for thousands of years. Most importantly for kids, because kids are the future. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll bring Raven in. There's 250,000. Was I summoned for a specific purpose, or are we just hanging out? We're hanging out, Raven. Alright, so we brought Raven in. We're just hanging out. Okay, so Raven's gonna take us to the next gold brick. There we go. Uh, she is the most villain-like character, but she's not a villain. Although, you know, the whole Trigon thing. Having a villain for a dad is kind of messed up. Yeah. A despot. Whoa. Yeah. Alright, so what do they want us to do here? I... You want me to steal the chicken? Why? I don't understand. <laughs> oh yeah, all you have to do is graduate from high school now. Awesome, Brandon. Yep, you're on your way. Mm. Fun. Oh yeah. Hey guys, do you remember um, mm. how this uh, quest over here works? There is a lone piece of meat sitting on this altar. But there doesn't appear to be anything I can do here. Unless there's a character that's supposed to pop up or something. Oh, I, I have to kill the frogs. Okay, never mind. I got it. Frog murderer. Mm, wow. Uh, gators have a bite force of 2,000 pounds? Unbelievable, Richard. There is a character in the swamp house, says John. Character Thank in the swamp house? Yeah, oh, thank you for the cool fun facts about the, uh, Titanic, Richard. I didn't know all that stuff. Where am I gonna find the frogs? Yeah, the, I, I have, um, 
Um, I believe that you're right on about that alpha, but I can't talk about it. But yeah, that's a really interesting thing you found. Uh, someday people will, will find that. I hope. Hmm. Where are the rest of the frogs at? Huh. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to find the frogs. Who's that? Huh. Well, how do, does it matter what frogs I take down? Can I go anywhere in the swamp and take the frogs down, or does it have to be in this area? Take down froggies, but I don't see any froggies. Yeah, we we've, we've had people tell us all day. Uh, Keanu Reeves is voicing Shadow. Thank you, Michael. You definitely have to hit the frog. Says VS uh, FSB. Yeah, I I realize that, but it's just finding the frogs that's proving tricky. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Uh, these frogs make it hard to see. I need one more frog. And he's not making this any easier to locate him. Like the last one that I saw was on top of a rock. Or a mushroom. But I'm not seeing the last frog in this area. If you guys know where he is, let me know. If you saw him, let me know. I don't see nothing. Unless the frog went somewhere. I could be able to hear the frog. Um, I, I don't know. Mm. Oh, I think I'm gone. Detective ability, says Game Wing. Detective ability to find the frog? No, uh, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Let's see, who has detective abilities besides Batman? Okay, so the frogs glow white. Okay. Not seeing anything pop up on my radar anywhere. Do the frogs all have to be in the same area? Or can it be any frog? Yeah, Captain Zack, I don't know when I'll be doing Animal Crossing again. It's just a filler series in the morning and afternoon once in a while. So I don't have a schedule for it. Um, it's just whenever. I can't find this guy. <laughs> God bless you too, Clayton. Thank you. Is it a glitch? I don't know. It could be. Same area. Yeah, I mean, um... Yeah, if I find a video on that topic, Alpha, I'll send it to you. Uh, I There's a really interesting video on that topic. And if I find it, I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, so, yeah. You may have already seen it, though. Oh, I found him. He's way over there. Got him. With their powers combined, they become a gold brick. Actually, I kind of want to hear Kevin. I think this is Kevin. <laughs> oh. They don't... Nope. 
Ben Affleck Batman is not voiced by Kevin. Oh. Okay, well. That's my bad. Okay, so the frog quest is done. Now, just a couple gold bricks left in this area. Boink. Off we go, Raven. Off we go. Um, yes, I've seen Teen Titans Go before. Teen Titans Go has been on for over ten years now. Pretty sure. It's still on we, the air. We used to watch, uh... Teen Titans Go a lot, and actually we used to get a lot of people being really angry at us for watching it. It was just stupid fun. I mean, it wasn't... We used to watch it a lot, like... I mean, it's better than, like... I mean, Teen... They kept teasing that the real Teen Titans show was going to come back, but it never did. They told us if we watched it and all this other stuff, and like we supported we watched... the Teen Titans go to the movies. And... Yeah, the voice actors kept saying you have to support the Teen Titans go to the movies and the Teen Titans go show and everything. And we supported everything, but then the Seems Teen like Titans never came back. Always the answer. Anyone else able to handle this? In fact, the Teen Titans go to the movies, They a voice actor said if everyone watched that, there's a huge chance that Teen Titans would come back because people would see that there was a, you know, love for the original series. Um, but that movie did excellent in theaters and it never, they never brought the Teen Titans back. The movie didn't do excellent. Oh, really? Oh. Perfect for the clown who has everything. Now if I could just tie my socks. You just find your socks. Slade was really cool in that movie. Slade was interesting. He was voiced by Will Arnett. He was voiced by Lego Batman. Yeah, he was, yep. was kind of cool. So, prison mm. <laughs> the original Teen Titans was awesome. Definitely Alpha. You like DreamWorks movies, Rebecca? Very cool. Alright, so this is the last of the swamp. I think. Mm. Yeah, those people lied about Teen Titans coming back. Yeah, definitely, Brandon. We got a movie, but it wasn't a very good movie. Teen Titans it's, versus Teen we Titans We thought go. there would have been one more... I feel like we deserved one more season of the original Teen Titans because it would have been nice to tie up some loose ends between, like, Starfire and Robin and just some... just like Terra and Beast Boy. Yeah, and just kind of, like... It would have been nice to actually, like, conclude the show. Like, an actual... Con Feels like the show randomly ended and then it just went to Teen Titans Go. I feel like the reason why they couldn't bring the show back personally is because, like, obviously the show was probably animated by somewhere in Asia and the company probably already moved on and was working on other shows. Like, you probably couldn't get the original animation team back. Oh, they were going to do it on computer if they did, but the voice actors said that if we did all this stuff, then you would get the final season. Yeah, like, they so definitely they, they lied. they did say it. Like, they definitely... I don't know why they said that. Because there was basically, when they were doing that stuff, there was a resurgence of, like, all these things coming back that used to be canceled, like Toonami came back, and... So, but they know, didn't have any evidence that it would have really come back. They were just saying that. They were just saying it because they thought it would happen. Oh, well, then they should have been clear about that. I don't cause... think they lied. I think they were hopeful and they wanted it to happen. And also, Young Justice just came back, too, I believe, is when they were doing that. Don't care what people like to watch as long as you have fun. Definitely Game Wing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Oops. they mentioned that in, uh, they mentioned that Secret Society and Teen Titans Go. I mean, they mentioned a lot of they mention a lot of weird topics in Teen Titans Go. I mean, they're just, like, messing with people. Just like in Gravity Falls, they mention secret societies. It's a parody show. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. It's, like, it's supposed to be a joke. Like, just because they mention a secret society in a joke show doesn't mean they're trying to make a point about the, that. It means they're just trolling people, basically. Completely what is, trolling. What, is this about? what they're doing is they're just finding weird, you know, things on the what? internet and then putting them into their show. It's like Family Guy. 
Yeah, they're just finding memes or things that people search on the internet and putting them into their show. It's a dance floor? Like, how am I supposed to get this to work? I hate it here. Recruit people? Teen Titans Go is overrated, Jacob Langlet. I mean, it's it is what it is. I mean, it's not as good as the original, that's for sure. It's just supposed to be a, it's a parody. Man, this place stinks. It's not supposed to be as good as its original self. It's just a parody. I think people are expecting it to be like this masterpiece, and it's not. Do they exist in real life? Um. If they do, nobody can talk about it because it, it could cause problems. Oh wow. The old dance floor. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Dance party? Cheetah dance. Um, I think, yeah, I think there's a lot of, I mean, I'm not going to really go into it, but yeah, I think there's a lot of dark stuff in real what life, I but I, you know, the more, you, if you look into it too much, you'll get yourself into trouble. It's better to concentrate, it's better to focus on good things in life, basically. Hey, yo. Drop your famous beat. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Dancing. <laughs> this move is the reason I ended up here. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if you can keep up with this one. You got some moves. Up, up, down, down. Here's my special move. <laughs> Wow, you got some moves. Here, I'll share this with you. Someone helped me smuggle it in a few days ago. All right, all right, break it up. All you back inside right now. The warden wants to see you. No music. Ah. No partying in prison. Something to get my pretty little pops on. All right, good job, Catwoman. Okay, so there's one more gold brick that we're going to do. It's right down here. And then that does it for all the uh, bricks in the swamp. So that was dance party. Uh, and the next br brick is located on the ground. Ground level. The the best thing that no matter if weird things exist or not. The best defense against weird things like that is for honest people to work a 9-to-5 job, to teach their kids good values, to learn to cook home uh, meals, and to have good uh, education in their school, and to have good family values. That's the best defense against um, any, you know, anything weird in the world like that. Oh, I bet it's lovely. My mom makes the best sweaters. How in the world do you... Hmm. Hey guys, do you remember the Bell Reeve, uh, thing? So oh, I see. Never mind. It's a poison ivy uh, thing. It's a pheromone thing. Alright, so we need to be ivy. And ivy is located down here. Alright, so it's a pheromone thing. So we just unlock Ivy. And how do we activate all the pheromones? It's your fault we're in this mess. When I get out, I'm gonna eat as many pancakes as I can. I just really love it. Okay. So, one flower. Move 
moving on, Ivy. This is so boring. Oh, this punishment does not fit the crime. It's your fault we're in this mess. When I get out, I'm gonna eat as many pancakes as I can. Didn't you already say that? I Repeating NPC dialogue. Okay, yeah, you already said that. Okay, that's two things. One more thing of plant. Okay, and the last flower looks like what? This? Oh, well that's easy. <laughs> Time to seduce the guard. And then we get our gold brick. You want me to open the gate? Right away. I would do anything for you. Freedom! Who's gonna give me my gold hey, brick? I got you something. I hope you like it. It's not quite as pretty as you, but it's still nice. I can't let any nasty polluters get their hands on something as valuable as this. Okay, so that's... I'm pretty sure that's all the gold bricks. Oh, wait, nope, there's one more. Huh. No idea where that one's located, though. Bell Reeve and the Beast. Located here. What does that even mean? Bell Reeve and the Beast. Is that inside the prison? Where is that? Hmm. Oh, that was New 52 Ivy. Bell Reeve and the Beast. Yeah, definitely, um, Brandon. I mean, yeah. Um. Paul, I mean, those are all good options. Definitely, Brandon. It won't let me do a way uh, entry point, so then that means I don't know what that means. Hmm. Whoops. Yep, guys, they're purging likes. We were up to 150. We're down to 130. So uh, don't forget to check it. See if your like is there. It's inside, you sure? You want me to open the gate? Right away. Freedom! You want me to open the gate? Right away. We think it's inside. It's a struggle. Isis! Miss Princess acts like she owns a joint. She has it easy. A little too easy. Get us out, and we'll share whatever that pampered cat's got up in that guard booth. Okay. So the gold brick was actually... I can't wait to get my hands on her. She looks so fluffy and warm. Have you guys heard about the last Ronin R-rated uh, Ninja Turtle thing? Yeah. Yep, we've heard about it, Deathstroke 101. Uh, use Henry Cavill Superman for this. That works. And then switch to Mirror Master, I suppose. No, there he is. Liberty makes a mug of the Mirror Master. What? You thought I couldn't do this? Oh, I do love shattering people's expectations. How do you go inside the mirror after you make it? 
Don't really get that, but I did something. Switch to Joker so I can step on stuff. Oh, you want... Okay, I see how it happens. And Joker walks over here, and then he's going to release this guy from prison somehow. Or not. I don't think I've ever done this one, actually. I don't believe so. Because we didn't 100% the game. We need another portal, so it's BSF. We need more than one portal? There is a character in here, too. Thank you, Game Wing. Um, thank you, Michael. Yep, we have heard about the Lost Ronin. If I had a reduced prison sentence for every time I stepped into a mirror portal, I'd still be here. Alright, there's the first guy. So we're inside. Oops. Where's Joker again? There he is. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, people used to make fun of you for watching Powerpuff Girls? That's a great show, Duststroke. I think anyone from any age should be able to watch Powerpuff Girls. That's a funny show. This is a very funny show. Mm, whether you're a girl or a guy and whatever age you are, it's, it's a great show. It's a lot of fun. Mojo Jojo the monkey and Mojo Jojo Mojo Jojo is fantastic. I like it. Yeah, when is the uh, last Ronin movie coming out or that never came out or it did? The The Last Ronin movie? It's yeah. not out. They're oh. talking about making it. Oh it's an R rated movie. It will be when one of the turtles is still alive. Yep. And then it'll be the last one. There's gonna be a last Ronin video game? Awesome, Michael. This ain't gonna be no act. How is Joker immune to poison? I don't know, Sharon. That's a good question. Uh, it's best not to think about it. Keanu Reeves will be Shadow? Definitely, Roy. Hello, Power Ranger Lightning Collection. Good. Now maybe I'll start getting some respect around here. I don't know who that was that we just found. <laughs> Alright, so then how do I make my way over next to you? Ah! That works. Alright, then we connect Mirror Master again. Hey, what's the deal, wise guy? I'm not looking for a new cell. Can't wait for the last run in video game. Awesome, Sammy Bear King. This princess acts like she owns a joint. She has it easy. A little too easy. Get us out, and we'll share whatever that pampered cat's got up in that guard booth. You think it will be Raph because he's the toughest? Awesome, Brandon. I can't wait to get my hands on her. She looks so fluffy and warm. Yeah, I don't know who the last turtle would be left. Huh? Wait, I don't understand. I, I activated the mirror, but the mirror is connecting somewhere else. How do I shut the mirror off? Yeah, Luke and I were saying we hope it's not Mikey, because that would be kind of dark. Having Mikey become like this like crazy um, rogue person that's super angsty and stuff. I mean, that's what it was in the comic. Oh, wow. Yep. Well, I guess we'll find out who it's going to be in the movie. Would we play the game? Um, it, I don't know. I guess it depends if it's going to be rated M. Yeah. I don't know, Sharon. I guess we'll find out when it when it comes to that. I don't know. I can take I out now. This ain't going to be no act. Weird. It, it will surprise you because it surprised me. The book is awesome. Awesome, Sammy Berry. Bear King. Very cool. Well, that didn't work. Well, 
I'll look forward to watching it in theaters, maybe. Why are you not shrinking? Oh. Kind of reminds me of a Phineas and Ferb sister in an alternate universe where she's all intense and stuff. And she's like this freedom fighter. Of them all. Just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Now it works. So now mm. need to be Joker, I guess. Donnie is your favorite awesome death stroke. <laughs> need to destroy the cat climbers. I haven't seen Kung Fu Panda for um yeah. I wanted to though. I have- I don't know who, who it's gonna be. I don't know who will- I don't know who killed the other uh, Ninja Turtles. I don't know. Personally find it interesting that we went through e that we went through each other's- each of the brothers as the last- oh, each of the brothers as the last Ronin? Interesting, Grunkle. Hi Isaiah, hi everyone. Yeah, I mean, like, they could change it for the movie. I don't know, like, if it'll be the same as, like, you know. I would change it, because people, if you've read the book, you know who it is. Yeah, Sammy just said, oh, this, the word is out then for the book, because we just said who it was for the book. Sorry about that, guys. If you haven't read the book, sorry about that. <laughs> Give Princess some room. She scares easily, so we have to be gentle. Oh, she is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Enough to make you give up a life of crime. Oh my gosh, she licked my hand. <gasps> I think she likes me. All right, so gonna grab the gold brick. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I accept this on behalf of Batman villains everywhere. Yo, Harley. I did it! Oh my gosh, I can't get out. Uh. Okay, there we go. I'm out. Alright, that's everything in here, so we are out of here. I believe. I thought that was actually Isis, but it's not Isis, it's just some random cat. Well, it is what it is. There we go! So, uh, I'd say that was pretty successful. Oh yeah, Catwoman's cat, Isis. Mm-hmm. That's... Parasite. Well, I talked about Chuck E. Cheese. I'm getting more Chuck E. Cheese commercials now. Vibe! Yep, that was Vibe. Okay. Alright, guys and gals, that is going to do it for uh, today's episode of LEGO DC Super Villains. So, we did a bunch of stuff in this episode. We did the entire Grilla Grot episode. We also uh, did a lot of the swamp um, free roam or free play or whatever. Collected gold bricks, all that fun stuff. Um, your next stream will be starting up in just a little bit. It'll be on Sandland, which is a new game that's coming out at the end of the month based on a new anime that Toriyama made. So I hope you guys will uh, head on over there. And. Um, this stream series will continue if it gets a thousand views. Thank you, Clayton, for uh, coming by with the awesome super chats. Really appreciate the support of the channel. And uh, I will see you guys on Sandland in about uh, 15 minutes or so. So if you guys could head over there, that'd be fantastic. And uh, just heads up, just so you know what's going on. Um, Ace Attorney, the episode that happened today, episode 62, is only at 800 views. So if you guys want another episode of Ace Attorney, it's got to hit a thousand. 
And if you want another episode of LEGO DC Super Villains, it also has to hit 1,000 by tomorrow morning. So uh, as soon as the stream is done, you can re-watch it for five minutes. It counts as a new view. And uh, it'll help the channel out tremendously. All right, guys. See you on the next stream. God bless. Happy gaming. See you on Sandland. See ya. Thanks for the people becoming members and ultimates as well.